comrades and like people. <laughs> my name is Pastor Joe White. Although some of my victims call me Pastor Joe White. I've been asked to open this prestigious evening with some reading of the word from the Holy Book of Funny. We shall now read from the Holy Book of Funny. I once went to Fruit and Veg to buy me an iPhone because I heard they sell Apple. You know, that music has a very high level of customer satisfaction. I guess it's because they're not just standard bank. I once smoked weed while traveling in an airplane. What can I say? Hey, I got high. Sometimes I don't understand math, because last night I was just too short of a threesome, but at the same time I had enough participants for a fivesome. I once saw a sign in the wall. It read, shoe store, two feet ahead. I once thanked the girl for giving me a hand job. I said, thank you. She said, no pleasure. I once smashed in my laptop screen with my bare fist. Actually, it wasn't quite hard. It was actually Microsoft. The other day, I decided to go do the right thing and pay my TV license. But on the receipt they gave me, it said, thank you for your donation. <laughs> I have this dyslexic friend who does everything in reverse. Although I must say, I do enjoy watching radio and listening to television with him. I must think long about this stuff. <laughs> the recent NBC strike really had me disappointed in us humans. I mean, come on people, we should fight. We should stand together and become one African. It's so hot these days, when I buy it in the Libyan sun, it feels like I'm contributing to global warming. <laughs> you know, summer is the only time when women actually get jealous of the sun. Because girls, no matter how pretty you are, you'll never be that hot. <laughs> when I was younger, I wanted to take dance classes at MTC, alright? Okay, don't judge me. The sign outside did say Tango available. <laughs> Also, when I was younger, no one wanted to explain to me the meaning of the term lesbian. But eventually, I figured it out myself. I once dated a girl who was addicted to oral sex. One day, I just couldn't take it anymore, so I told her, Listen, a muff is a muff. <laughs> a gay guy once came up to me in the street and he asked me, Excuse me, son, can you lead me the way to Jesus? I said, yeah, sure, just go straight. <laughs> they say watching NBC television is exactly like watching American baseball because somewhere you can expect a strike. <laughs> Just recently they came out with an instruction manual on how to become the perfect homosexual. The book is called The Fifty Shades of Gay. <laughs> they say the grass is always greener on the other side. It depends on which side of the tour you buy from. <laughs> in recent studies, it's shown that 99% of all men are in fact not dog lovers. When asked to comment on which type of dog they particularly don't like, most of them answer, the bitch I live with. <laughs> <laughs> they say go big or go home. Alright, where is this place called big? <laughs> Some people come up to me after shows and they ask me where do I get my material, so I tell them, Chelsea Fashions. <laughs> I once went to a Catholic church to confess my sins as a paraphile. They offered me a job. <laughs> Which reminds me, I have to be somewhere. That's my time. Enjoy! Ciao!